Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing another speed building video. So this speed build is actually a community lot and I've done one community lot so far on my channel and that was a restaurant which I built in San Mashuno. And I don't know, the other day I was around London and I just really wanted to build a florist shop. And so when Seasons came out, I really, really had the idea to, like, I really wanted to build one. And I always just put it off because I could never think of like how to build it without making it look like a house. Um, but I don't know, I just, I, I went out and I just really wanted to do it. So I came back and I was like, do you know what, I'm going to build it. And if I don't like it, then that's fine. But I actually love it. Like the way it turned out is so nice and it's like the most adorable little florist ever. And it's called the Enchanted Florist. So I actually got this name um, from a another florist, which I don't know where it's from, but I just saw a picture because I was thinking of, um, like I couldn't think of names for this florist. And I wanted it to be really cute and like adorable and something really, really sweet. And so I decided to look um, on Pinterest and I found the name of one called the Enchanted Florist. And I just thought it was so sweet. And so I decided to call it the Enchanted Florist. So this is actually built in Magnolia Pomade or Pomenade. I'm not sure how you actually say it, so I might have butchered that. Um, but it's built on the 20 by 20 lot. This one was actually the um, Emporium thing, but I scrapped it and I decided to put this here because I wanted this to be on the corner um, closest to the park instead of the other side of it, if that makes any sense. I just felt like it suited better doing it that way. But anyway, now going back to the build, I'm actually just finished the like exterior of it. And you can see, as I went along, it really like transformed. So at first, I really didn't like the look of it, but it just shows that like, if you keep on working at something and like you really like put a lot of effort into it and you try hard, then it does actually turn out beautiful. And I think this turned out absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I just did this like lime green, lime pastely green. I'm not sure what kind of green this is, but it's in a really, really adorable green. I didn't actually know we had it in the game. Um, and I use it as the exterior and I also use the wallpaper from Dine Out. Um, I just think they go really well together. And then in the interior, I actually used a light, light blue kind of color. I didn't want to keep it with the green, but I wanted it to be a little bit similar. So I just did a nice little light blue and then I also did a feature wall of the same brick on the interior as I did on the exterior. So when I was building this I actually had so much fun building this because it was just something really different and I've never actually done anything like this before and like I said like I've wanted to do a florist shop for so long especially when we got the flower arranging table of seasons and I don't know I just wanted to do it for so long and I just never thought I'd be able to do one. I'm not really sure why I just kind of doubted myself um, and I decided you know what I'm gonna build it and as I said I really really like the way it turned out but I didn't actually think it would turn out like it did so originally it was just going to be like a little flower shop like just a really cute little quaint flower shop um, but it didn't turn out to be like that so when I was actually building it I was just I don't know, I just kept on getting new ideas and stuff so I actually made the back of the build a, like garden center which turned out so cool I absolutely love the way it turned out it wasn't my intention originally but I don't know it just really, really worked and I think it is absolutely adorable I keep on saying that but I do I, I think it's the most adorable little build I've done I think it's actually my favorite build I've ever done um out of everything I've ever done um before YouTube and during YouTube it's just I don't know, I absolutely love it. And if you actually follow me on Twitter, you might have seen my tweet the other day and I just said that I'd just finished building this build and I was so excited about it and I was really happy. And I really wanted to share a picture of the build, but I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna wait until Wednesday and then people can like just watch it, like see it and then go and watch it. And I thought it'd be better. But I'm really, really excited to share this because like I said, it's like my favorite build that I've ever, ever done. Um, and it just turns out, so good um but now i'm just doing the little back gardens this is what i meant like so i didn't know it was gonna be what it turned out to be um and so when i was kind of like building this i was going around and putting these little like exterior kind of like what they call benches um because i was gonna i was just gonna put loads of them around so like people could come and sit down or whatever 
but then I decided to like corner it off and then just make it into a little guy. I don't know, I, I just think it turned out like really, really sweet and I'm not sure, but I don't think there is anything like this on the gallery. I'm not, there, I mean, there might be, I'm not saying there isn't, but I personally haven't come across a little garden centre, so I thought it was absolutely brilliant idea to do one, especially with like a like little florist in the front and like so you can get your house plants in the interior and then if you go to the exterior you can get all your little garden furniture i don't know it, i just love the idea and since actually building this i have actually visited um this little flower shop and i have actually bought some little items for my sims households so i do actually skip over the exterior quite a lot but when i move the camera around a few times you'll, you're able to see what i put in there i put some like different kinds of fountains and different kind of little lights and bird houses and those little gnomes i just didn't want to leave it all in because the exterior alone took me like an hour and 40 minutes um something ridiculous like that this whole thing took me like four hours to build but it didn't feel like four hours at all like i was having so much fun um and yeah i just it's, i just love it like looking at it now i just absolutely love it um and i did the terrain tool um i love that little swatch of it because i think it works so well for like a little garden center and then i go around and i like like remove it from underneath the object so it has a little bit more depth to it um but i just love it i love the way it turns out and i just think it's really really cool so prior to building this i did actually get a sim to make about 23 or 24 um flower arrangements already so if you don't know this they are already in the game um already in the game sorry already in the shop so you don't like have to make it as or something um because I, I don't know i just felt like it's great to have like the already like pre-made plants but i still wanted there to be that flower arranging table kind of incorporated into it so there is like two sections of the flowers that you can like make in the game um i just thought it was a cool idea like to do it that way instead of just doing like the original like not original but like the standard plants like the standard house plants and there is also a flower arranging table upstairs i actually made the upstairs like a live-in business so it's like a little mini house upstairs it's not much it's literally like a little kitchen a tiny little like living area it's like a bookcase and like a computer and a single chair and there's a bed up there and there's a kitchen there's a bath just like the the stuff that you need but i believe no i don't know how right this is but i think you can get a live-in business mod i think that's what it's called i'm not completely sure i don't actually have it but i'm really really wanting to download it so i can kind of live in this business but if you do have that mod you can just download this and there's already a little pre-made house upstairs and it's the most adorable thing ever and obviously there is a door so no like customers can just walk straight upstairs it is at the back so your sim can just go to work from down from upstairs or downstairs i don't know they can just like yeah <laughs> hopefully you know what i'm trying to say um but now i'm just doing the little flower bit and i actually do them little flower beds on both sides but i decided to cut them out because i felt like it wasn't that interesting it was just like some little landscaping it, it wasn't like too interesting if you know what i mean um but now i'm just doing like the floor plan and this is where i try and figure out like what's gonna go where and all that kind of stuff downstairs is basically just a big open room and then upstairs is basically a big open room just with a little bathroom off to the side um but now i'm just doing it the little counter and i did actually forget to put a till in like the little like warning thing in the top left corner it was on the whole time but i completely ignored it which sounds really bad but i completely ignored it um and then it got to the end and it wouldn't let me like when i went to go and save it, it kept it kept on saying that it was incomplete and then i was like oh okay and then i looked it in it said that i only needed a cash register um <laughs> so i didn't actually record that bit but it is there is a cash register in this build i think it's the standard one it's not the really high tech one because there's two there's like a really high tech like looking one and then there's just like a standard one i believe i might be wrong but i think i just did the, like the standard cash register um but that is why you don't see me put it in because i actually forgot about it um but now i'm just putting down like little surfaces on where the flowers are gonna sit and i used two no three different types of tables i didn't want it all to be like really matchy matchy I wanted it to be like a little boutique like 
really sweet and like a little home business and like family business or whatever i don't know so i did use a mix of different tables um right now i was trying to figure out what to put in the middle of the room because i knew i wanted to have like a like a, not a mantelpiece like a like something in the middle of the room basically and i did play about with the get to work kind of things i don't know what they're called like the little what are they called i can't even think what i'm trying to say but like the the like tables the little mini tables i tried to play around with them um but in the end i just used the table that we got in a free update um because i thought it would look really really cute and then i just put the vintage glamour um what's it called like mirrored side table in the middle to kind of bring it up a little bit more just so it has like more depth to it um but you can just see me now putting in the pre-made um flowers and i do try and like switch them up so like not all of the white vases or vases however you say it because I, I say both ways um when i say it because people say it different ways um so i say vase and vase um but i did like different colors of them so there's like a ruby one and like white ones and so i didn't want to have all of them like of the same vase or vase color cluttered together and so i did try and like mix it up um a little bit and now i'm just trying to like figure out how to do the items on that little indented window and as you just saw obviously i tried to put the pre-made flower arrangements there not the pre-made one the ones didn't know they take me our pre-made okay yeah the pre-made flower arrangements there but in the end i decided not to do that and i just put like a load of like the house parts and bits and bobs in there and also i would like to mention if you do download this house i have actually already listed a lot of the stuff for sale so all the flower arrangements that are like made by sims all for sale um a few bits and bobs here and there so them little like what are they called them little things that i'm doing now i don't know the circle things them <laughs> they're for sale um i didn't want to put all the decorations for sale because it makes it like adorable <laughs> um but a lot of the stuff is already for sale so you don't actually have to like go in and do it yourself like i did it for the exterior as well so the majority of the exterior is for sale i'm pretty much sure like all of it is for sale apart from like the tables because it'll be silly i don't know what actually happens if you have a table for sale and then an object on that table for sale as well i don't know if some like a sim buys that table if the object will drop or not i'm not sure but i didn't list the tables for sale so that won't happen um i just did like the little decorations and like the little gnomes and bird houses and yeah all of them are for sale so you don't actually have to go in and do it when you download this build and so yeah i just thought that would be more helpful if i did it for you instead of you having to go around and do it yourself i mean if you do want to go and do it yourself i mean you can you can add more stuff that i didn't list for sale but i just thought i i put for sale what i thought looked good for sale basically um but now i'm just finishing up doing this little coffee table and i was struggling on what to put there because i felt like i used every single plant in the game um when i was like because obviously it's like a flower shop so i'm going to use a lot of flowers and a lot of plants and i felt like i basically used them all but i don't know i managed it kind of works it, nothing looks too like over the top if that makes any sense like nothing is like oh my god you use that here and you use that there it's nothing like that um which is quite good i think like because it's quite hard to create a like a certain object build um but i just really enjoyed doing this and i was kind of sad when i was like finishing it up like i didn't actually want to stop doing it like at the end of the build i actually went back over it and was like right what can i add here and i didn't i left it if i did add anything else i would have recorded the footage um well not recorded the footage i would have like kept the footage in but i didn't the only thing i did add is the cash register as i mentioned <laughs> because i forgot that um but it's fine it's there now if you download it it'll be there um but now i'm just doing these um little are they called sp spirals but spiral i don't know what they're called i'm, I'm not gonna say try and say it again because i'll probably like make myself look really stupid but them little like triangular things normally i don't know i, I just name them as like triangular stuff if that makes any sense like i know them to be triangular they're like little things like little bits of fabric that hang i don't know but i i tried to do them over some certain windows and i thought they looked absolutely adorable and then on the ones that they clipped into the windows i actually just put some like cards instead like the spring kind of cards because the spring cards that you get with seasons do come with like 
little flowers and like spring stuff that would be appropriate for a florist if that makes any sense but either way there is a lot of decoration in this build is what i'm trying to say and i don't know if you just saw but i did actually add a cats and dogs poster downstairs on like that massive wall with all the like, little pictures on and stuff um basically what i like imagined is the person that owns this little florist has like a cat or whatever i've had like cat items in it so there's like a little litter box and a scratch scratching post and stuff like that um but i imagine they're like a really friendly and just a genuine nice person or sim um and they just have like an adoption poster and they always tell people to go and adopt and maybe they've adopted or whatever i don't know that was what i was thinking um but now i'm just doing this little like corner bit upstairs which is like the living quarters and this changes at the end like i go back to it because i add in a computer and a oh i add in the um like the actual florist table so i actually forgot it um and then at the very end i was like oh i kind of need that to add that in um and so i do like switch it around so only one of them cats and dogs chairs actually stay um i do keep like the other objects it's just i kind of give them like a little switch around and like just kind of like alter them a little bit but that is like the main kind of living area it's small and it's it's, it's like really quaint but i feel like this sim that lives here wouldn't be spending too much time upstairs anyway i feel like every living hour she'd be or he would be like downstairs just i don't know making money living in their business i don't know um but this is like the little bedroom area and i actually was struggling on where to put the kitchen because i don't like covering windows with fridges and stuff but i had to do it because it was such an awkward placement otherwise and like the counters would be at the very end of the bed and so i do actually just like cut it out because i was trying to figure it out for ages and i'll put the fridge in front of one of the windows and then put another cabinet on top of it so you can't technically tell that there's a window behind there even in tab mode you can't see it it's fine um but i didn't want to remove it from the outside because it looks so sweet and I don't know, with the three it looked cute, but if I just took it away and I only had the middle one and the right one, it would look a little bit funny, and I don't know, I didn't. I kept I kept it like how it was and just put the fridge in front of it. Um, but now I'm just in the little dresser area, and obviously I added more plants because you can't get enough plants, obviously, in this build. This person loves flowers and plants and nature, and a like, really eco-friendly sim, I imagined, like, that lived here with a little cat or whatever, I don't know, it's really cute. I love the idea personally and I don't know, one of my favourite builds. I've said that like three times, but I don't care. It literally is one of my favourite builds. I had so much fun when I was doing this and I had a really, like, a really good time, like imagining what the kind of person would be like and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, um, but this is a little desk area. I think I'm just about to switch. Yeah, I haven't moved that little area around yet because that's when I, I hadn't realized at this point that I needed the little florist table. And so I do do that in a minute. Um, but now I'm just gonna go in and add some little cat bits and bobs. I was gonna put the litter box in like the main area, but then I was like, it might be a little bit smelly. So I deleted it. Um, well, I did delete it. I deleted that little cabinet thing in the bathroom and then just moved it. Um, just so it was like more suited for the bathroom because that's where that kind of stuff needs to happen and not in like the main, place where you like eat and stuff um i didn't actually add a dining room table in this build as well but i'm sure you don't mind but anyway now we're getting to the end of the build and i don't know i hope you guys enjoyed this video i mean i really really enjoyed uh building it and stuff but as always make sure that you leave a like or a comment or whatever and if you do like my content please subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye guys